Hey y'all, what is up Fish and Fits here today? I'm gonna be going to a couple of different ponds in search of some big brim. And if I catch a big enough one, I'm actually gonna be doing a catch and cook, a little fish and chips recipe. I'll be going over how to catch, clean, and cook your fish today. All right y'all, so what I have for my rig today is this little ugly stick rod, it's four feet. And then over here I have a little Shakespeare reel, tiny little hook, going to a split shot weight. And up at the top, I have a bobber. All right, y'all, now that I've showed you guys the rig, let's get to the pond. All right, y'all, so I just made it to the pond. I had a super, super pretty walk in here. It's probably about a half a mile walk, but I think it will be worth it. Hopefully, I'll be able to get after some big brim. All right, y'all, what I got from bait today are these large Canadian night crawlers. They usually do the trick for these panfish. Dang it. Just missed one. There's a bite. Fish on. Man, this thing's a fire. Oh, that's a nice. Wow, that is a big bluegill. Holy cow. That is a big, fat bluegill. Oh, man. Look at my hand. It's bigger than my hand. Holy cow. That's an eater right there. Wow. I haven't even been fishing for five minutes and I already got this nice looking big bluegill. He's a little bit bigger than my hand so he should be some good eating. He's going to have a lot, a lot of meat on him. Alright y'all, so I'm going to use my little makeshift stringer now. Just got some uh, rope right here. Just going to stick it through that gill back there. Right through right there. You got him on your stringer, just like that. I cannot tell you guys how happy I am to be back home right now. I got my brim right here. I'm about to go clean them up and then get to cooking. Um, the bite today really, really wasn't that well. The bite was definitely more quality over quantity because the only fish I caught was this one right here. All right, y'all, so I got the brim here all cleaned off. Just hosed it down. Now basically what I'm gonna do is just take a spoon and just go up this uh, scale line right here. Basically what you wanna do is you just wanna get all of the scales off this guy right here. Um, it's, it's being a little bit tough right now, but Gotta do this. After you guys have gotten your bluegill all descaled, you're gonna wanna go give him a little bit of a rinse cause he has scales all over him. And then after you do that, I'll show you guys what you guys need to do. All right y'all, now that you guys have gotten your bluegill all cleaned off, basically what you guys are gonna do is just make a fine cut right down here. Just kind of right behind that uh, fin right there. Just gonna wanna cut and just kind of cut around. Make sure you get that meat. We're not going to fly it today because we only have one brim. You could fly this guy for sure because all the meat he has on him. But what you're just going to do here is cut all the way down. Not cut the whole head off. Leave a little bit on the bottom. And then pull off like this. It should get most of your guys' guts out. 
you're gonna have to reach in the cavity a little bit and pull a few of them out, but just like that, you get all your guts out. Once you guys have gotten your whole fish gutted, what you guys are probably going to do is kind of rinse out that body cavity and make sure you got all the guts out. And then after you do that, it's going to be time for you to throw on some spices. All right, y'all, so I got all my ingredients laid out for y'all. I got the potato, onions, and fish, and I got the fish fry as well. Hopefully, it'll taste pretty dang good. Let's get to preparing it. All right, y'all, so I got my little brim right here. I got a potato for the fish and chips. I got an onion for some onion rings. I got some beer batter for the onion rings. I got some fish fry for the fish, and I got some oil to go in the frying pan. All right, y'all, so I got my potato here, and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda cut off these little uh, holes that it has on it right here. I've already cleaned off the potato, so it should be just fine. I'm um, just gonna get off these little craters. Just cut very tiny little slices, just like so, so they can cook nice and uh, fast into some little potato chips. All right, y'all, after you guys have all your potatoes sliced up, basically what you're gonna wanna do is take your vegetable oil and put it in your frying pan. After you do that, you're just gonna, gonna take a tiny little potato chip, put it in there, and when it starts to sizzle, you know that's time to put in the rest of them. All right, y'all, so what you guys are gonna wanna do right now is turn your burner on high to get that grease getting hot super, super quick. And then once that potato starts sizzling, you're gonna wanna turn it back down to about halfway. All right, y'all, so my potato chip is starting to sizzle. So now I'm gonna start taking these ones and putting them in the grease. All right, y'all, so it looks like some of my potato chips are done, like this one. I'm just gonna put it over here onto some paper towels to get that grease off. Um, only a couple are done right now, so I'm gonna leave the rest of them on for a little bit longer um, until they're all done. All right, y'all, so what you guys wanna do next after you have all your potatoes pulled off the fryer is take some little sea salt. I got some Morton sea salt right here. Just gonna wanna dump a bunch of it on the potato chips, make sure it's all solid up, to give it that extra flavor. All right, y'all, I'm about to try one of these potato chips. Let's see how they are. All right, y'all, got the little potato chip right here. Here it goes. Pretty good. Got a lot of flavor, added a ton of salt in there, a little bit too much, but it tastes like a lace potato chip. Now, let's take your guys' fish fry right here, put it in this bag, then you're gonna wanna shake it up with the fish in it. Take your fish, put it into the grease. Alright y'all, so I think the fish is done. I'm gonna pull it off right now. Grab like that. Oh yeah, it's just falling apart. Should be nice and ready to eat. Pull it off. Put it on the plate. Alright y'all, so the fish is done along with the onion rings and the potatoes. Onion rings didn't turn out uh, how I wanted them to, but that's okay. They still taste pretty dang good. Um, but now I'm just going to kind of dig into this fish. Oh, yeah. Meat's just falling right off the bone. Just like that. Give a little bite, like that. Alright, y'all, let's try out this little piece of fish. Pretty good. Has a really nice flavor. That little fish batter, I've never used it before. But I use it today, and I think I'm going to keep using it because it tastes really, really good. Had a little Cajun flavor to it. But overall, it's good fish. I'm going to put down the camera for now, finish up this fish. I'll notify you guys when I'm done. All right, y'all, I just finished the fish and chips. It's pretty dang good. Um, the potatoes, 
were a little bit burnt. Um, so next time when I cook them, I'm gonna have to cook them a little bit less. But overall, I give it an eight out of 10. It was a pretty good dish. Um, and I always like it when the fish is fresh. All right, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this little catch and cook video. I had a great time catching, cleaning, and cooking this fish um, on a completely different note. I'm actually teaming up with a company called Venom Lures for this 2019 season. Um, I'm going to be using their lures a lot more in my videos, and I'm going to be fishing with them. The link will be down in the description for some great quality lures. Venom Lures have actually already sent me a couple of their DK high floater kits. Um, got this little natural color right here, blue color black and blue and a little kind of green apple color and a green kind of bronze color this is my favorite one right here i think it just looks super good and it should be able to catch me some bass this spring all right y'all if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe it's been fishing with fits here i'll see you guys in the next one